What we think on out pictures in our lives. Write this on your heart in bold letters. To think we can entertain certain thoughts and not have them influence us in other areas is not only foolish, but spiritually deadly. The concept or idea of compartmentalizing portions of our lives or thinking is patently false and leads ultimately to tears. What we think on becomes part of the mix, always. Thoughts of vengeance, assenting to any form of suffering, reveling in schadenfreude all mark us, shutting out the sunlight of the spirit. Now, the baker would never add something to the mixing bowl that they did not want in the finished cake. But unlike the baker who has complete control over their ingredients, we have no control over the curious thoughts that float up into our consciousness. But we do choose the path when we become aware of them. Now, the price of spiritual freedom is vigilance and our consistent positive response to negative and destructive thoughts and ruminations. Living on the spiritual basis today, when we drift into morbid reflection, we turn immediately in prayer and meditation back to source. For we can no longer fool ourselves as to the cost these thoughts carry with them if we choose to entertain them for any reason. Those who may appear to get away with negative thinking and actions, in fact, don't. For the mills of the gods grind slowly but exceedingly fine, and next to every mill is a mountain of sand. We all reap as we sow, so we must stand vigilant, weighing the thoughts seeking purchase in our consciousness on the scales of divine guidance, service, and love. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my videos on YouTube and Facebook at Vincent Lee Jones, my writings on Blogspot, titled The Page Living in Spirit, and videos on The James Club on Facebook as well. Have a blessed day.